hundreds of millions of rounds of ammunition are produced here at the Winchester factory just outside Melbourne. Although we aren't allowed inside, we've been granted permission to test a new Rimfire Subsonic 2-2 round on the ground out back. Not out back, just out back. Using a Browning T-Bolt, our man from Winchester wants to compare the old, familiar, comfortable and reliable 40 grain hollow point with the new, beefier, harder hitting 42 grain. What's two grains between friends, I hear you ask? Well, according to the ballistic gel test, it's a couple of centimetres and enough extra oomph for a rabbit shooter to turn his attention to a hare or a fox if needed. The 42 grain version still has the same violent entry still has the same similar cavity area, it is slightly extended and it will give you a slightly more penetration. Obviously for the Australian market we have foxes, subsonic still a popular product for foxes, uh, it just gives you that little bit of edge to give you that more energy downrange. But we didn't want to upset its ability to take small game such as rabbits and whatnot. Uh, the 40 grain is still an excellent product for small rabbits, uh, the 42 still a good product for rabbits but lifts that energy and downrange energy up for your larger game, so for hare and fox. It is still the same loaded length, similar in the front nose, so it will still fit and feed in all our 22 long rifle firearms around the world. So it's a round that clearly has a bit more bite, but why bother when Winchester's current bullet is bought in bucket loads? Well, it boils down to how the company can offer shooters something new with improved knockdown power, a slightly longer range while retaining the quiet killing efficiency of a subsonic rimfire round. It's been felt that uh, our competitors have been slowly catching up to us, uh, to the point that it's now time that we need to raise the bar. Uh, obviously, going to a 42 grain bullet is unique. It just lifts the bar again on what people can achieve with you know, one-shot kills on all the vermin species, especially here in Australia. And obviously with the rabbit being a, a worldwide target, we want to make sure the 42 was as good, but then better when we start going up into the slightly larger vermin or we start stretching our range a little bit. If you want to reach the parts other 2.2s can't reach, Winchester also produces the PowerPoint, which has an effective range of 80 to 90 metres. Anthony sends a few of these downrange too. We're shooting at the same distance. Penetration is very similar. There are 42s there in the subsonic. There's the um, PowerPoint Max, but as you can see, it's hit with a lot more energy. Wound channel is a lot greater. Um, it, it is slightly larger. Uh, in cross-section, still opens up very quickly, but as you can see, because of the velocity that's hitting and the impact, it's actually fragmenting, so you're getting all these little multiple projectiles going everywhere. But it'll still have a relatively good uh, retained weight. That's enough gel. We need to get to grips with those invasive Aussie bunnies. A quick trip down the road to a friend's stables offers us a few chances as it gets close to dusk. We get some instant results. Rabbits are not as prolific as we were led to believe, but Brian says they're a real problem in many places across the country. You can go into some places into mid New South Wales and literally see hills moving of an evening. Um, and you can shoot all day, you can shoot all night. The other popular one is ferreting. If you're on small acreage or, or areas where you can't shoot a firearm, um, the, the old guys with the ferrets and they put the polecats down there and they net them all up, they can make a, a serious dent in, in, a pop, in a rabbit population as well in a short space of time too, so you can't beat them, that's good fun shooting them. <laughs> Brian and Anthony persevere after dark and what we see, we shoot. There's no doubt that in a land with such a huge rabbiting history, Winchester, Australia knows how to make a good rabbiting round. However, the country that brought us the rabbit-proof fence, the government-sponsored release of myxomatosis and the first rabbit meat millionaire may have to think about reintroducing the European bunny to this suburb of Geelong. It looks like Oz is running out of rabbits. <laughs>